What's up everybody, it's your boy Kid Smooth and this is another Apples and Oranges video, Tupac Facts Edition. And I know I'm about a day and a half late with this, but I am happy to say uh, that Tupac uh, finally will be making his way into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame um, this coming April. This is probably one of the greatest honors uh, that musicians could get is to enter uh, a Hall of Fame, you know, and it's called the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and we all know Tupac was not a rock and roll artist, but this is a big deal. Uh, he's only, you know, the sixth hip hop um, act to, to ever be inducted into the Hall of Fame. He joins uh, names like Grandmaster Flash, um, the Furious Five, uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Run DMC, um, the Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, and NWA. And, and Tupac is actually the first, the first solo hip hop artist to make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know Chuck D said nobody deserved to go there as far as solo act uh, until LL Cool J gets there. I'm sorry Chuck D and LL, but Tupac's the greatest rapper of all time, and I feel he deserved the spot, and he also deserved to be the first hip hop artist uh, to make it there. Now, I know there's not really uh, much to say, but there's a, there's a lot of things that I, I wanna uh, talk to you guys about in regards to Tupac and um, this uh, uh, being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, one of the questions I ask is that, you know, Tupac's mom's just passed, his, uh, his boy Big Psych just passed. I'm just curious to see who will accept that award uh, for Tupac. Will it be his brother Mo Prem Shakur? Will it be his sister? Will it be his aunt Gloria Cox? Uh, will it be, um, I don't know, uh, who else uh, could be, a, I don't know, a longtime producer? I, I'm not sure, but I'm curious to see who they would uh, have uh, uh, accept the uh, Hall of Fame inductee for him, and I would love to visit to see the uh, the, the, the Tupac exhibit. It's got to be awesome um, when it's all set. But the, the crazy thing about Tupac, if you look at if you look at uh, Grammy nominations and MTV awards, BET awards, Soul Train awards, Source awards, Tupac hasn't won any awards during his time here. Believe it or not. You know, he hasn't, he lost awards to like people like Coolio, you know, who we don't hear from. Um, he's like, I remember, I think his last nomination was in 96 at the MTV Awards. He lost to a Coolio, lost some awards. He's been nominated for, for awards, and I think he won maybe a couple awards after he passed away. But um, it was unfortunate that he, was, he never won. Like, somebody with that talent, with that message, has not won like any like awards like that and it's a shame you know biggie has won awards of course like back in the day but uh Pac unfortunately hasn't and for him to be inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame is a it's a is definitely a, a big deal now let's uh give you some uh tupac facts that you may not know of now tupac would be uh was the first hip-hop artist or first honestly artist to have a number one album why in while incarcerated me against the world went number one for about four weeks um in march of 1995 tupac was in prison at the time that's why all the music videos that came out for me against the world he wasn't really physically in there uh but they had all his influence and input in there like songs like dear mama uh, temptations and uh so many tears uh were all you know recorded and stuff while he was in prison. The songs were recorded prior to him going to prison, but the videos, of course, obviously while during the time he was doing his prison stint. Uh, Tupac was also the first hip hop uh, artist, rap artist, honestly, uh, to release a double disc album with all the eyes on me. He uh, did that, recorded that in two weeks, um, about over 24, 25 songs. Uh, it was a double a double disc LP. All Eyes On Me came out February 1996. It's a certified diamond album. Uh, it went number one uh, when it went out. Um, it was stayed there for weeks, and it, it sold uh, it sold very well. One of uh, a, a crowning achievements for albums. Um, Tupac was also uh, the first hip hop artist to have two number one albums in the same calendar year. Um, I know people don't. Uh, 
looked some people say dmx was but it was in dmx it wasn't nelly it wasn't any of them um tupac was the first rapper to have two number one albums in the same calendar year obviously all eyes on me came out february of 1996 and then his uh follow-up album machiavelli uh the don Cluminati seven day theory came out november 6th of 1996 and also went uh went number one on the billboard charts uh spawning hits like um uh, to live and die in la hell mary and toss it up so um uh, i want to say congratulations to tupac for making it to the rock and roll hall of fame um it's it's, a, it's an awesome feat like i said tupac wasn't really given awards that he should have gotten uh while he was here when he was when he was making cl uh, classics for us to listen to and um like one of my favorite uh verses one of my favorite songs from tupac i have so many uh, but one of them that I get, I can always go back and listen to is me against the world. And one of my favorite verses, um, I'm gonna try to uh, recite to you. I know you guys, uh, the beat is playing. Um, I don't know where it's at because I can't actually hear it, but I, I generally add like a pocket instrumental during these videos. But so hopefully <laughs> I'm not off rhythm with this. But my favorite verse it has to be Tupac's second verse and Me Against the World, which one of my favorite Tupac songs of all time. And it had a lot of, lot of strong messages in this verse. So here it goes. I like how it, it goes with all this extra stressing. The question I wonder is after death, after my last breath, when will I finally get the rest through the suppression? They punish the people that's asking questions and those that possess, still from the ones without possessions. This message I stress to make it stop study your lessons, don't settle for less. Even the genius that's this question, be grateful for blessings. Don't ever change, keep your essence. The power is in the people on politics. We address, always do your best. Don't let the pressure make you panic and when you get stranded, things will go the way you planned it. Dreaming of riches in the position and making a difference. Politicians and hypocrites, they don't want to live Listen, if I'm insane and the fame made the brother change, it wasn't nothing like the game, it's just me against the world. Favorite pop verse, um, definitely top five. But thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know how you feel. You got any, you no know, pop commentary you want to add in the bottom, let me know. Hit me up for anything Tupac related or anything, you know, anything related. It's Kiss, Move, Apples and Oranges. We out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Subscribe. Help me get to 500 subs. I need it.